to me, when there's seven games left and this is the type of play you're seeing even in these last two, it it feels like it can be carried on toward the rest of this season. And these guys are really understanding like, okay, if we don't step up, do we want to regret not leaving it all out there? Do we want to re- regret not listening to our coach when he's saying like, shoot the effing shot or take it to the rack, like do what you need to do, yep. but be a, ba- be a basketball player out there. Like you are not a placeholder. You're not playing with LeBron James and you have to just like be ready to catch and shoot. No, you gotta be, one of the guys creating. Put the ball on the floor, hit yep. some mid-range shots, hit some turnaround jumpers, and Keegan, in the last couple of games, is doing that. It's like, no, you're scoring at all three levels now. You, you have to do that. One of my favorite plays from him tonight was he got in the corner, put the ball on the floor. Zubots came over on help, so there was two guys there, and he made the patient play and dished it to Sabonis for the easy score. And seeing him do those type of things, uh-huh. that's what excites me is the potential for him as a playmaker, as a passer. It's like, we knew last year you could shoot threes. Yep. You shot a lot of them, you shot them well. This year, we've seen the flashes you putting on the floor and scoring at all three levels. It's been a little inconsistent at times, but now last couple of games we're seeing that. We're seeing him pass the ball. I love what I saw. A playmaker and a passer, but you also were talking about this play early on. You had texted me about him. You're like, oh, I love the way that he like hesitated oh, on Paul thank George. You. Thank and it was you. just off that DHO uh, from Sabonis, and he was going to come back and grab it, and he stepped back and kind of faked Paul George like he was going to go back and just get the ball from the outside, and then just explosive cuts forward toward the basket Sabonis sees that shit right away before it even happens leads him with the pass he gets an easy two that was beautiful and that was great and and that's the thing like last year they're not doing that the Warriors in the playoffs took away the dribble handoffs and it was like the Kings were like what do we do we were only programmed to dribble handoff and shoot oh how do we recover and it's like yeah okay so Paul George is going to be fronting him, and he did that a lot tonight. I yep. thought Keegan still was trying to be aggressive. He wasn't going to let Paul George, a good defender, punk him. Why? Because you're young in this league. You got size. You're strong, too. So go at this guy a little bit. And it came off one dribble handoff. All right, got it back to Sabonis. Okay, that, that play you described was perfect. Juke him out a little bit. And Paul George was just, like we said, it was just oh, on the high side. and him. just Yeah. He was left just, him. Just denying. And was on him yep. tight. But you're exactly. Keegan got one step on him on the cut. And Sabonis was like, oh, yes, please, honey. Uh, in the chat, pull that. over saying, talk about the one dime that Keegan had baseline to Sabonis. We just talked about just before this play. <laughs> We're talking about a lot of Keegan plays. Then he had one play where he tried to force it to Sabonis, and Paul George read it brilliantly, right? It was a steal by George. Gets it ahead to Norm Powell, who's open from three, and you're like, oh, no, Norm Powell. He's already hit some open threes tonight. Keon closes out on him pretty hard, and Powell, like, leaves his feet. I don't know. I thought Powell should have shot. I think he still had room to shoot yeah. it. Whatever. The good closeout made Powell think, make a mistake. Yep. He threw it in the backcourt. Sabonis so gets it. Oh, yeah. They're on the break. And Keegan, I'm like, what's he going to do here? Zubots and Westbrook are right there. Zubots made the ultimate business decision. He wasn't going to try to block that shit. He, but Keegan went hard and dunked it home. And the cry, I mean, I jumped out. I literally was like, <laughs> I, I asked Mike Bibby, I was like, I was like, you know, he's starting to throw it down, like angry dunks, all those things. He goes, yeah, it's going to keep happening where guys are going to start being like, I don't want to get in the way of that. Like, he's got to keep that reputation going where guys go, oh, hell no. Like, he's a big body. He's throwing it down aggressively. Like, I don't want to be any part of that. He goes, that's what you just got to keep doing to have that sort of identity. I think it was G-Man. I could be mixing it up. I think G-Man said this, but uh, he was mentioning how, like, Man, who was this saying this? Where did I hear this interview? Keegan can jump. You know, he he be playing with y'all, but he can jump. So, but good for him. I'm glad he was aggressive. You no, know, uh, Keegan can score in a variety of ways. Three level score. So, um, when he's when he's aggressive, when he's going out there and taking shots and making shots and, and being aggressive on both ends of the floor because he can defend as well. He's 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 the player that we need, um, and that's what we need from him all the time. Well, Keegan was obviously. Um, really good in this game tonight and uh it's good to see him be aggressive keep doing this keep doing yeah. this 